folks welcome back sam and todd here issuing a challenge folks fourth of july here in the united states and that means uh, eating a lot of barbecue and blowing off a lot of fireworks uh anymore but it used to mean you know overcoming adversity the little guy taking uh a stand and overcoming long odds to uh to secure you know something that he thought was unattainable so um you know, a lot of movies have been made on this topic, like the Rocky series, uh, Karate Kid, for that matter. Um, but I rewatched a movie over the weekend uh, called uh, The King of Kong, and uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, it's about arcade video games and uh, record holders and guys uh, going back and forth to try to hold world records. And the uh, main two dudes in it are uh, Billy Mitchell and uh, TwinGalaxies.com. Uh, uh, which Twin Galaxies basically uh, keeps track of all the records for all consoles and systems, including the arcade, and uh, does it for Guinness and everybody, so pretty damn cool. So, um, And then there's Steve Weedy, who is this guy that, um, I think for all intents and purposes and rights, he had the title uh, when he beat, beat his score the first time, but the whole rigmarole with the movie is you'll see how they discount his first score and then he's got to you know do it again and again and again until he's finally recognized for what he did so um so we're going to call this i'm going to issue a challenge folks um we're going to do it on the nes cart of uh, donkey kong or donkey kong classics or an emulator uh nes emulator with donkey kong classics or donkey kong it's the same game um just uh start it up on player 1a and uh, see how far you can get and how high of a score you can get. I I finished watching that movie and I was all pumped up. I'm going to play some donkey. I'm going to kick some ass. I'm going to, you know, get the high score. You know, I don't even know. I'm sure there's somebody holding an NES high score on it. So, um, just uh, all submissions, all uh, response videos are welcome. I just want to uh, see some people playing some donkey Kong. see how high of a score you can get. And uh, you'll definitely be able to beat me. Uh, I, I filmed a... Uh, I played one warm-up, I didn't film it, then I filmed my second one, so it was not a, a, a cold playthrough, so as many times you want to play through it, you're welcome, uh, please submit your videos if you do them uh, to me uh, for response, and I'll definitely hook them onto my video, and uh, let's see if you're as good as a Steve Weeby or, or a Billy Mitchell as far as this goes, and uh, I know I'm not, but uh, that's why I made the video, I'm no Steve Weeby, but uh, you know, we'll see, so. Fire them up, folks, and let's see, uh, let's get to it, so let's play. All right, folks, let's get rolling with the I'm No Steve Weeby Challenge. I picked player one, game A, and uh, all extra men are free game, and uh, just see how far we can get. Uh, please use the Nintendo Emu or the Nintendo uh, Cart or the Nintendo Donkey Kong Classics Cart. Um... I don't think it should be too hard to find the, the emu, the emulator. Um, but uh, this is uh, Donkey Kong, the original. Um, I played a lot more Donkey Kong Jr. growing up, at least in the arcade, because the local mom and pop. The restaurant was actually called The Wagon Wheel uh, in this small town that I lived in. Um, had a Donkey Kong Jr. machine. They also had a, a Space Invaders machine and a Pac-Man machine. Um, the uh, <laughs> the local gas station had the the Yar Kung Fu and the Akara Warriors, um, which I have more fond memories of those games. But I, I didn't play a lot of Donkey Kong growing up at the arcade. I played it mainly on the 2600, um, the home console. Um, didn't ever play it on the Atari, on the Nintendo. I wasn't uh, a huge Donkey Kong fan. Um, to me, it just seemed like there were three boards and they cycled over and over again, and it, it just didn't do a lot for me. Um, but um, it does require a lot of skill. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't. It just, it, it, after I cleared the three boards, I'm like, what? There's not any new boards, you know? I mean, that was kind of my mentality as a, as a kid, so, uh, you know, it was one of those things. But um, Donkey Kong Jr. was definitely my game of choice. Um, and uh, as far as Donkey Kong 3 went, I never even really played that one at all. Um, and uh, see, this uh, this board, I rarely even reached this board as a kid. You know, I would always die on that on the escalator level there, the elevators. You know, and um, 
There's not really a whole lot you can do. I mean, you can kind of camp out a little bit and jump over enemies or something. But really, as far as, like, uh, a lot of bonus points or, or extra points, it seems like there's really not a lot you can do to, to pad your score. I mean, there's only so much you can do. I don't know if you kill the guys with the hammer. I think they come back. But even if they come back, all you can do is jump over them after you run out of the hammer. So, I mean, after... After a while, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm just thinking from a standpoint of trying to get the, the world record, what you could do to really, you know, fill your score out a little more. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, these guys just weren't cooperating. They weren't coming up the ladder uh, the right time or whatever. And uh, I finally just got sick of it. I was like, come on, you know, you can't go up and down the ladder. So if you fall off there, you die. So it's just like, stand here and hope the guy's dumb enough to come up the ladder, which he wasn't. <laughs> and there's uh, there's the the girl. I forget who the girl is in this. It's not Princess Peach. I don't, you know, because this is before her time. But, um, oh, here he goes. <laughs> And you get the little heart, and then it cycles back to the original screen, and uh, it's it's mainly about score, really. I mean, that's what these older games were about was the score, and uh, you know, it's just about uh, I don't know, <laughs> and showing off uh, how how high of a score you can get. It's it's kind of strange to think about games in those terms nowadays, as far as the score goes and points and things like that. Because games are so oriented toward a story now versus a, a point total that, you know, it's really kind of funny uh, to even think of, of games, you know. Like, what am I going to do here? <laughs> you know, I, I could have maybe fell off the, the ledge and tried to, I don't know. I don't know what I could have done there to avoid that. Um, Here we are, you know, the barrel. <laughs> the barrel. Sometimes they'll go down the ladder, sometimes they'll just go off the edge. And I think there's, yeah, there's a wild barrel that got me. I was trying to hit it with a hammer, but I, I should have just got out of the way. And then, uh, I think this is my last guy here. But anyway, um, let's see how uh, well you guys can do. I don't think I break the 20,000 mark. Um, so, uh, it'll pretty much, uh, be pretty easy to beat me, beat me out on the old, uh, DK. Um, <clears throat> I love, uh, you know, other Donkey Kong games, like, like Donkey Kong Country, and, and see there I thought the barrel was going to go off the edge and I would climb up the ladder. That's how you play Donkey Kong. We both know, Weeby, that's not how you play Donkey Kong. Anyway, folks, I'm going to sign off. Uh, welcome to submit any challenges. I will post them. Uh, give it your best. Give me your best. I'm sure you can kick my ass. And uh, let's uh, shoot for the gold. Why not? Uh, see if you can't take down some uh, world records uh, while you're at it. And uh, see if you are a Steve Weeby. So, anyway, signing off. Enjoy uh, yourself and uh, play some video games. Later, folks. Bye.